Hey guys, it's your favorite permanent Timmy cosplayer here, and that's exactly what I want to talk about today. Timmy! Um, and specifically, I want to talk about, you know, from an actual disabled perspective, physically disabled perspective, Timmy as and actually jimmy as characters in south park um because i think they're probably the greatest disabled characters of all time um and yeah what can i say i first discovered timmy uh and south park in general um when I binge watch the entire series up to that point, uh, in 2014, in the summer of 2014, that was the, the summer going into my sophomore year of high school, uh, and, you know, um, I vaguely remembered some of South Park from, like, my brother, my brother, is around eight years older than I am, and so, um, he would always sneak me into his room, and we would watch South Park, like, in the early 2000s, without telling my mom, and, <laughs> and so I vaguely remembered it from then, but it wasn't until I was, like, 15 that I really started watching this the series became a fan i've sort of fallen away from it now but um yeah obviously one of my favorite characters are timmy and jimmy um and i specifically want to like point out that and this is something that i haven't really seen pointed out in that many videos before but Timmy, you know, it's very obvious that he has hydrocephaly and cerebral palsy. And I don't have hydrocephaly. Um, I may have megacephaly, but, um, no, nah, um, as for his cerebral palsy, it's incredibly and accurately well animated. Like, I have all three types of cerebral palsy, and it seems like Timmy does too. Like, you can, if you pay attention to the way he moves, it's very clear that he's spastic. Like, he has spastic cerebral palsy. He, but he also has, in the few times where he's out of his chair, it's clear that he has ataxia, right? He has difficulty balancing himself. His gait is weird, like the way he he attempts to walk, especially in that episode where Cartman tries to heal him. You are gonna walk with the Lord. <laughs> um, but also he has you know, very repetitive movements as well. That's athetosis. If you notice, his finger is always like this. You may have noticed that in my videos too. Sometimes my fingers are bent like this and I can't, like, sometimes I'll shake like this. That's athetosis, guys. And they animate that all super accurately in his character model. And it's like, bro, you didn't have to do that. Like, they didn't have to a animate it so accurately, man. It's one, of, like, and it's something that unless you are a trained medical professional or you have that condition yourself, you're not going to notice. But it definitely shows that they care. And obviously what many other people on here have said is that they also always include Timmy in things.
always, no matter what, you know, he's always there in the class, spasming, whatever, but they also gave him his own storylines, like, when he has his own metal band, Timmy and the Lords of the Underworld, and, like, when he develops an uber alternative or goes back in time and it's like you know even though it's difficult because he can only you know express himself with Tim um they they still when they can Include him in full storylines, dog. Do you know how many shows don't do that? It's like... People always say that I remind them of Walt Jr. And that gets me mad. Because Walt Jr. doesn't do anything, dog. All he does is eat breakfast all day and be useless. <laughs> and whiny. Um... And... Also, another thing is the background details of things surrounding him, right? So, like, in his house, you see the ramp outside his house. His parents are also disabled. Richard, Helen, Ross! Um, <laughs> but, you know, and in the later seasons, number one, his teddy bear is in a wheelchair. And his bed has railings, man. My bed has railings. <laughs> um. And it's it's just, again, there is no better disabled character on television. And there hasn't been for over 25 years, for approaching 25 years at this point. Imagine that, um, and of course there's Jimmy, and, you know, in that one episode where he gets jealous of Jimmy because he comes to town and stuff like that, and he's new, but same thing for Jimmy, and in fact, because Jimmy can talk, uh, even though he has... Uh, a speech impediment and stuff. They give him storylines, you know, the fish sticks and stuff like that, and really good storylines, right? The fish stick episode, which revolves around Jimmy's Kanye fish stick joke, is a classic. Like, that's a, like, everyone knows that one. That's a lot of people's favorites, and it's based around a disabled character. Um,. And I don't know, just the chemistry, man, between Timmy and Jimmy. I also like that they take care to animate him correctly as well. Like, I like that his his feet are all crooked. And it seems like he has cerebral palsy, too, because... um, As you... You probably hear my speech is kind of slurred, and I have a slight speech impediment. Although it's not as bad as some people with cerebral palsy, but I always appreciated that. And another thing, too, is that Jimmy's mouth movements are always off to one side like this, which happens with me, too. And his eyes are like... He has strabismus like me. He has lazy eyes. And it's just like, man, again, they didn't have to do all this. But, I mean, the guys at South Park, you know what? They're true allies to the disabled community. Um, And I really respect that... They are not afraid to show us as full human beings and portray our conditions very accurately. And uh, 
yeah, man, that's why I love Timmy and Jimmy and why I think they're the best disabled characters of all time. And you already know that before I go, I have to do it, man. I have to. I have to do it. <laughs> oh, live a lot. There you go. All right. See you guys.